are your best tips if you need to travel light for a formal occasion followed by a short vacation. I like to pack in one color scheme, so that can all be mixed and matched. This also lets you pack only one pair of shoes, where the other pair you plan on using. For the formal wear, you will have to suck it up a bit, but that should help with minimizing space for the vacation days after. Also, pick your travel outfit intentionally, so that it's one you can rewear on the trip or at least on the plane back home. Have fun! One overhead suitcase, one moderately sizable backpack to go under the seat in front of you. Don't bring anything you're not certain that you're gonna use. Don't bring any maybe outfits in case you wanna wear it. Don't bring a book that you might read. If it's a maybe, it's a no. Pack more socks and underwear than shirts and pants slash shorts. Pants and shirts can be reworn, underwear and socks can be too, but that's gross, so bring more. I know there's the old adage better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, but not when you're trying to pack light. Chances are, if you have enough money to be traveling slash vacationing, you have enough disposable income for you to buy anything that you forgot, or anything that you decidedly didn't bring that you ended up needing after all. If you can afford to do it, and it could get pricey, you can ship things to yourself in advance to any post office in the US. It is called general delivery. I had no idea this existed until my 20s and have only ever used it once. I am not what anyone would consider a light packer but I pride myself on fitting obscene amounts of clothing into my suitcase when I travel. Do not roll your formal clothes. I've seen this mentioned a few times and while it works fine for things like t-shirts it doesn't work well for bulky and stiff items like a suit jacket. The most effective way I have found for packing formal wear is to fold the sleeves over the body and lay it as flat as possible either in the bottom of your suitcase or the top. If packed well you can easily fit a week's worth of clothing in a carry-on, including your formal wear. There's ways to fold a suit so that it doesn't wrinkle and you can fit it in your carry-on, also it helps to roll your clothes and not fold them. Stop packing those outfits that you never wear just in case I want to look cute. You will either put them on, then immediately change into something more comfortable, or they won't even leave your suitcase. Choose two, one comfy pair for walking, and one formal pair that is also comfortable. Same with makeup slash toiletries. Pack your everyday things and maybe one special occasion lipstick. You don't need that fancy palette that you never use or those three hair styling tools that take forever. One dot always use versatile clothing and shoes. Shoes and jackets have to be limited to one pair slash piece. Two dot always, and I repeat, always go with wet wipes. Your suit, shoe, etc. can be stained, and if you immediately rub it with a makeup remover wipe, the micellar water ones, it'll likely go away. 3. Take a handbag that doesn't look bad with formal clothes, and a small overhead luggage, preferably the hard plastic ones, not the fabric ones, as those maintain the structure you packed best. 4. Leave space for things you might get, take only plain clothes, e.g. one pair of jeans plus t-shirts. Always take an extra set of underwear. Edit. Check what the hotel slash Airbnb you stay in has. If they have towels and shower gel, you only need a comb, razor optional, toothbrush and small toothpaste for toiletries. This often frees up space. A pair of shoes can contain around two pair of socks and two pair of Uda wear inside. Don't fold any cloths roll it up. Takes up a lot less space. Source, I got my wife to pack all her stuff in one. Comma bag. For the occasion, into the baggage, one shirt, one pair of formal pants, formal shoes, a tie. Then for n days of holidays, into baggage, n slash two tons shirts, n pairs of underpants, n pairs of socks. Miscellaneous stuff, a towel, pair of shower slippers. Then you wear, one pair of jeans, one pair comfy slash sporty shoes, t-shirt, Sweater slash polar, coat slash wind catcher. I always fit all of the above stuff into one backpack along with the laptop when I have to travel for work for a week or two. P.S. 
On the very formal occasions where you also need a jacket and or, I travel in a suit, as it's very hard to fold properly. PPS. Check the weather forecast for your destination, adjust accordingly. A high quality towel is the most important item a hitchhiker can carry. Never leave your house and you can survive on a piece of underwear for three days. Wear a suit to the occasion and take vacation clothes with you. Mail your suit home after the formal occasion and then do a pound of coke. Allow me to introduce you to Dr. Bronner's soap. It's an 18 in 1 soap for fairly cheap and can replace most toiletry items. The 3 ounces airplane rule will be more than enough for a weekend. You can wash yourself, your clothes, everything. Also, pockets. I had an international flight with strict rules for carry on for one leg of the journey so I loaded up my pockets with damn near everything, including rolling up a decently sized tote bag, and stuffing it in my pockets. Once aboard, everything went into the bag, cheaply but no one did anything about it. Compression bags are the shit. I like to roll all my underwear and socks into tiny packages, stick them in a sliding Ziploc bag, then squish the air out. It leaves a tidy little package and I know exactly what I have available. But get the roll the bag ones, not the vacuum ones. You may not have access to a Hoover on the return journey. They're usually in with the hangers and laundry baskets in Walmart. Ooh, make a pre-pack list. It helps you not forget things and you can work it to maximize what you really need. I refuse to check bags unless it's undeniably necessary so I get creative. I count on two days use per pair of sock unless you're really active. So a formal pair and then one for every two days after. One pair of underwear per day. Jeans can be worn several days before a wash which is good because they require a lot of room. I'm a girl so I pack a ton of dresses and some tights. Wear your heaviest shoe you want to take to the airport. Layer at the airport. Planes get cold, so you can get away with wearing a few shirts, hoodie, coat, etc. for the journey. Here's my list, 3 to 4 plain shirts, 1 semi-formal jacket, 1 jeans and 1 slacks, 1 shorts, 3 socks, 3 underwear, 1 leather shoes and 1 jogging shoes. It will be well under 7 kilograms so you still have room for your laptop, gadgets, etc. Needle and thread of the colors you'll be wearing visibly. Take little to no space, and no scissors needed, just be careful when breaking the thread. A missing button or a hole sometimes make a difference. I shipped my suit and a return label to the hotel I was booked at to my attention, and called ahead to let them know I would be arriving within a few days to pick it up if they wouldn't mind holding it, call first. Then when I left, I left it behind the desk with them and scheduled a UPS pickup. The last time I needed to travel light, I was able to fit a week's worth of clothes, including ski outerwear, into a carry-on by using vacuum space bags. Not going to work for every situation and type of clothing but solved my problem beautifully. I usually will use Rent the Runway, which is just women's clothes but they have similar sites for suits and men's clothing. But you can get a whole outfit delivered to where you're staying for the formal occasion and pack for just your vacation. It's not necessarily the cheapest option, but my style for weddings has stepped up greatly and I haven't bought anything new recently. Travel in your heaviest clothes, but comfy. If you need a suit or dress make sure it's thin if you're going somewhere hot. Then pack maybe half things of swimwear and wash and reuse clothes throughout the stay. I travel carry-on only. The answer here depends upon a few factors. What do you mean by formal? White tie and tails with a top hat? Or do you really mean semi-formal? Are you a guest at a wedding? Not in the wedding party, no tux required? What's the climate? Heavier clothes for cold weather increases odds of checked luggage. You want to avoid using the garment bag scenario on a plane, which is rarely done nowadays anyway. Assuming you're a guest at a destination wedding, so no one is really paying attention to your outfit, for an example scenario. Pack a small steamer, you'll need some time to get the formal wear creaseless right after you get there. Hang the dress slash slacks slash shirt and steam them. 
lightweight crease resistant fabrics, rayon blends, modal, tensile, silk, lightweight and roll up small in luggage. Bling up the formal wear with accessories, expensive tie, showy jewelry, spiffy shoes. You can re-wear the formal stuff on your vacation by dressing down, fewer accessories, for a nice dinner out. Other than that stuff, pack light as you always would for a carry-on only trip. Slash r slash one bag has lots of searchable threads on this topic. You don't need much for a warm weather trip. If you're going to a cold climate, wear your bulkiest stuff on the plane. A big, stylish gym bag always does it for me. Important to note that walking far is not great with this. Info, short warm climate vacation or short cold climate vacation? Outer wear is the bane of my packing experience and I hate having to pack both business cold weather clothes and play cold weather clothes. Warm climate, though, flip-flops and shorts take up little space, and t-shirts can be purchased anywhere. I got a good traveling backpack for Wall Street Journal 24 can recommend to anyone who flies a lot and needs 70 liters of storage. Unless you're spending more than a week without laundry, all you need is a medium-sized suitcase with a coat bag. Any formal clothes should be in the coat bag to prevent folds. Also if flying, the coat bag can be stored with jackets on the plane, just don't forget it. Rolling your clothing with socks to keep them wrapped is really helpful for saving space. Buy things when you get there and mail them back to yourself when you go home. You really only need one suit for the entire occasion and one shirt per day. Weather suit on the plane, keep your outer jacket in your hands, and pack your informal clothes in your bag. Pack your formal stuff in your carry-on. Last year at sister's wedding, my aunt and uncle flew in from Canada and unfortunately their luggage got lost. Luckily they're seasoned travelers and had their outfits in their carry-on, everything else they bought and got reimbursed for. Do not check your formal wear. Buying new vacation clothes is a minor hassle, buying new formal wear is expensive, if you're a 